That's Perks. Wait, so Perks is playing Kane? Oh. Hmm. He likes Kane, huh? That's pretty cool. Playing against an LCS player playing my champ. That's hilarious. What am I saying? My champ. Our champ. Our champ. Let's see. I wonder if he knows how to play Kane. Or how well he knows how to play Kane. I guess I'll start blue. Uh, would be cool to get an early trinket. Let's see if I could do that. <laughs> okay, well, we're playing Viego jungle versus perks on Kane jungle. <laughs> right out, fun. They have Nico, Sex King, Gala, Dark Fantasies. Alright, well, since I'm playing Viego and I'm starting blue, I'm gonna probably get W level 2. When you start red, you can get your E level 2. Did he start my red in Raptors? I'm thinking maybe he did, because look. Yeah, he did. I just got cheese super hard. Wow, that's something you don't see every day. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I don't think Kane can do much into our team. I'm not that worried. All right, I'm gonna go to his blue, Gromp. Start Wing around. Just help me move faster. Probably warded, so I'm gonna need help when I go to the blue. If they can start going in right now, that'd be ideal. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. My ear itch is really bad. Oh, I'm getting the top skittle right now. That's a really good start for me. Yeah, just being able to recognize that I can go make a play like that because it's on the opposite side of the map is really good for me. Oh, that's really bad. Ah, that's pretty grief. But he used flash there. Ah, not awful, I guess. He flashed to get orbs, but it was for the wrong form. My ear is maximum itchy right now. I don't know why. Ear itch. That's pretty good for my team. Can I got a 2-0 start? And uh, Nico used flash there too. So two flashes to kill me. It would have been really good if I got the scuttle, but I didn't. So that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, he forced a really awkward tempo this game. <laughs> I really don't mind playing Diego, so I don't really care that my champ got taken. I think Diego is really good at solo carrying. Now, who would I say is better, Kane or Diego? I mean, depending on the comp, I guess. I think Diego is always good, because hear me out, this is why I find Diego to be such a good champ. Is because whether you're ahead or behind, it doesn't really matter. It just matters who you pick up. Like, let's say your team's doing well, and they can kill the really fed, like, Jace and I can beat Jace for like five seconds in a team fight, how much am I gonna impact that fight? A whole lot, I guarantee you. Dude, why is my ear so itchy? Oh, that's not good.
Hey, look, I gotta play Kane for a second. Dude, I gotta play Kane for a second. That's hype. <laughs> Thanks for letting me play Kane. That was really cool. <laughs> I love this champ. He's so cool. You know, that's the only reason why I only play Diego is just so when I get to pick up Kane, I get to just play as Kane. So whenever someone takes Kane, I still get to play as him. You know? Is it my headset? Yeah, probably. Here's itchy. Ah, I poke myself in the eye. I blood. All right, let's first play the still caps here, I think, and get that. I'm pretty huge. I'm really huge, actually. I need to get XP, though. Now, nah, unless is like, perm-rotating with him. He cleared his top side, and now he's spot side. It's very hard for me to do anything. Is that perks? Yeah. I use my E here just so I can get over here faster. Farm two camps at the same time here, boys. My Divine Sunder over Kraken. Oh, Divine Sunder is just really broken right now. Whoever can use it, just use it, trust me. I always make sure I shoot my E towards my next camp so I can just run there faster. He might try and invade me again, but just think about how his invades have worked. Every time he invades, I wind up getting kills and a lot of gold, and I outscale him. He's like a snowball champ who's taking trades with someone who's a melee champ. So like, his trades are really just inefficient. Berks doesn't actually know how to play jungle at all, so he just like thinks that he's doing a good job by invading my camps. But he doesn't realize that it's not how you're supposed to play can. Like, you should be impacting your lanes and getting your form, not just choosing the enemy drawing. I think I'll say, I've never seen someone play can so easily. Oh, nice. Oh, I can take his blue now. So yeah, he doesn't time his camps. Like, he's never impacting the map when he's supposed to be. He's just like, all right, this guy's not on this camp and I have my team to rotate for me. I'm just gonna invade him. You have to think out your invades properly. My ball lane can rotate here. I'm much stronger than him, so. Sunder now. I could pretty much just fight him whenever I want. You know what? I'm just gonna reset. Because he took my red earlier. I know not to farm that camp. I'm gonna reset and look for the rift play. I gotta get top ad too. Alright, now we can start getting some attack speed. So this is gonna be our main damage power spike, but right now I'm very, very strong. If I can put my E down and get a lot of autos off with Divine Sunder, I'm gonna heal so much that they won't be able to kill me. Now we can make this play. I should always have a uh, prio with Kiana. Never not have prio. Probably send this mid because the thing is, if I send it mid, then Kiana gets to rotate across the map, and that'll just be easy. Young diff. Well, Perks doesn't know how to play. Can he's just playing? And I don't know why. And actually, 
<laughs> he egoed and didn't type back to me in old chat. I gotta understand, I'm pretty random, so makes sense. Good, this is good. Looking for something aggressive here, boys. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Gotta get it lower so we could just one tap it with the tower. See, this is exactly how you want to play into a cane, by the way. Just make it so he can never get his form. Like, I try and purposely make it so he hits me so he gets his red form. And you can see there's the dark and ready right there, so he did get the wrong form. He kept taking fights with me and invading me, so do you see the issue now? He's trying to win jungle when his main objective is to get his form and win the map. This is why people don't understand how cane works, and they just think he's broken. They just see cane, they're like, cane broken. There's a lot more to cane being broken than just. Can't make no sense. Oh, I should have red spined him there. Nice. Hey, that's good. Look guys, I'm Kane. He has Prowlers and Tear. That looks so balanced. Why would I play Kane in 1v9? It's like, that looks so balanced. That's so broken. When I play Viego in 1v9, that looks so balanced. That looks so broken. When I play Kha'Zix in 1v9, that looks so balanced. That's so broken. It's like... <laughs> Carry junglers are good at carrying the game. Forehead. Forehead. Hey guys. Guys. Carry junglers are good at carrying. But Pega clap. Pega clap at the chat, boys. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I sure I'm not a Viego one trick? Yeah, I just play him whenever uh, I don't feel like playing Kha'Zix, Hacker, or anyone else. He's a carry champ, he's pretty fun. I think with no form, wait, Kane just got his form. You know what's the best feeling? When they get their form and you just kill them immediately because it makes them feel like they're it's hopeless. They have nothing going on for them. That's the best thing to do to a Kane player. As soon as they get form, just kill them immediately. I have 3k gold in my inventory. I'm telling you, with Blade of the Rune King, I'm just going to mark them all. If I want to be really obnoxious, I can go Sterix, but I'm going to go Blade of the Rune King. Because if you're ahead, you should build damage. A lot of people, they have this false conception of how the game works. That if you're ahead, you should build tanky because then enemies can't kill you. But you're not going to do any damage. If you're ahead, you got to be the carry for the team. Huge. I think we just win though. I don't even need, I need to reset here. <laughs> Fun one. Well played, Perks. <laughs>